Hey guys, Knogart here. Today I wanted to bring you the update to my Blackwing deck for June 2021. Uh, I also wanted to show some rarity upgrades I made on the deck, plus uh, the full combo that this deck can do, um, that can play through Nibiru. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Um, obviously you will start with 3 Simun. Um, this card is just uh, yeah, just does everything for you. It gets you the whirlwind. It's an extra normal summon. It pluses every really strong combo starts with Simoon. You can combo without him, obviously, but he just makes everything so much better just because you have much more resources. So Simoon at three, obviously. Um, next up we have Zephyros still at three. Uh, it's another starter. It's a normal summon, obviously, but he's two bodies in one card. So again, you have more resources if you can start with Zephyros. And then, uh, very standard, we still have the three Chris. Uh, it's a level four and an extender. Level fours are the most important extenders in this deck because we exceed a lot on this version. And rank fours are the exceeds of choice. And now to the first rarity upgrade, we have now ultra rare Boras. Um, Bora is just better Chris in this deck. Uh, Chris obviously has the uh, protection from uh, traps and more attack but Bora is not once per turn. Also it just looks great in ultra rare. So yeah, free Bora as an extender and then Next extender, this is the first change from the last list, is uh, we only have up to two Gales now. You will see why later. Uh, Gale obviously not once per turn as an extender, um, but he's level three. So you can spam him, but you can't overlay with him. So at some point, he's just, mostly he's there for link plays. Um, next up, now we, we run two Harmaton. Uh, because of the combo I will show you later. It's very good to have two of those. Uh, one you can special summon, the other one you can normal summon or banish with Simoon. So if you draw one of them, that's actually pretty good. And then we we cut down to one Oster. We had two in the last one. Um, it's another normal summon. It's a level four, but it doesn't do much for you. And uh, looking at all the extenders we have, uh, I think we're fine with just running one Oster. Um, doesn't collide with the Zephyrosis anymore. And then for the other one-offs we have one of the Gust. Gust is also level 2 which is important for the combo later. And he's also a special summon from hand. Um, you can you can extend on your board like special summon him, special summon the extenders without using your normal. And yeah, just make sure to special summon him before you activate the whirlwind because the card says you can't have any cards on the field not just monsters so if you activate the whirlwind then you can summon this then we have the one of Orochi it's just because of black whirlwind so you can with Harmaton you still have a search for uh, Orochi or if you have double whirlwind and uh, have Simoon double whirlwind search for Oster and Gale then you summon Oster you can't summon two Harmaton, you can't summon this anymore, so you just want to have another card that you can search off of it. And then the next extender is Caligua Clockro. Uh, I believe I already had this in like Gold Rare last time. It's not the biggest rarity, but like there is no foil of this, so this is the best I can do. Um, there's also no foil of all of these cards, which really annoys me. Like common Harmaton, it's just a disgrace for this deck. And uh, yeah, the last extender is just still the one of Strangle Lanius. Uh, we don't have a target actually for it to rest. If you want, you can run the Raider's Wing. Uh, I think Raider's Wing is only good if you're already in your combo and uh, doesn't get your combo started. Which So if you draw it, it's pretty much only good if you already go into an Xyz. So I'm not that big of a fan. You can play it, obviously. I will talk about that later, what changes you can make. Um, because most of the deck is very uh, standard here with all the extenders, so I think I will talk more about deck building choices you can make before going into the combo. And then the last monster is the Phantom Knight. Obviously, you need this for your Bardish. This uh, upgraded to super rare. It looks just looks better, right? I don't want commons in the deck. Uh, 
King armor tons. So that's it for the monsters. Uh, let's put those together. Next up, uh, last time I talked a lot about whirlwinds. We run three whirlwinds. Deal with it. Actually, you can you can run two if you want, um, because it's not a monster. So, um, for example, you draw multiple whirlwinds, or you draw one whirlwind, and you have Simoon, and then some other cards that are not black wings. Then uh, you'd rather have a black wing instead of this. So, if you want, you can say like, cut one whirlwind, play another gale. It's fine. Um, but I, I like it at three because uh, more flexibility in your combos. Um, then you have the three allure, um, obviously. With Drytron getting more popular, you can um, cut this because uh, you're actually not that bad against Droll unless um, unless your your hand is built in a way. For example, you have like a whirlwind and a allure, so you just allure, draw two cards, banish one, then they draw you, and your whirlwind is useless. Um, if you want, you can cut this for other tech cards. Then the rank of spells, you need those for the combos. Um, I talked about it last time. If you want to, you can run the combo like with just these two, for example. But uh, this can this really makes your um, non simoon route way, way stronger. And um, also having this as an extra, so like these two are used for the Kaliuga combo I run right now. So this one is free, and you can see later how this can make your bot even more resilient. Obviously, this comes as the cost if you run one more card that's not a combo card in your starting hand. So if you run more tags, which you will see later, this actually becomes a consideration to cut it down to the minimum of two rank up spells. And then we have obviously the one called by the grave. It's like I call it the get out of jail free card. It's just dumb at one, just like you draw it, you're happy, you don't draw it, like whatever. Uh, Monster Reborn, uh, foil upgrade this time. Uh, I have an ultra rare uh, too. I just put in the gold rare. I don't know what you guys think of the gold rare, but yeah, at least it's foil. It's the new gold rare, so it has the outline on the thing. Then we have uh, one upstart. Same logic with the allure here. If you're too scared of draw because people are main decking it for Drytron, you can cut the upstart with the allures. Um, my logic right now is just I really want to see Simoon, so I have the draw power. But obviously, if uh, if draw doesn't let you play the game, so you can actually change it up a bit. And then we have the upgraded gold rare um, shade bringing in. Um, as a trap, obviously, you can search it. It's another level 4 extender. So, even if you hard draw it, it's actually really good because it's another good level 4 extender. We kind of need those for our combo. So, level 4 extenders are the best. And this one is a free extender from Bardish if you need it. So, this leaves us with 35 cards. Um, I actually took out the 5 bad extenders. So, that would be like. Um, World Legacy, Succession, Creeping Darkness, I already talked about Cutting a Gale. Um, something like Luna the Dark Spirit is also a level 4 extender you can play. But these are like the bad extenders. Um, also the second Ostra I cut. So now you have more room to play with in the main. And what I'm doing right now is I play going second cards. So three Dark Rule no more. Uh, this one is not directly upgraded, it's a common. Uh, and then I also have two Twin Twister. This could be anything. For example, also considered instead of the Twin Twisters, I run two Phantasme and the Dark Ruler no more. And then I have five uh, going second cards for decks that build a board with links. Um, Phantasme obviously also pretty decent against Tri-Brigade. Um, but people also run Becker right now, so I put in Twin Twisters. Um, so I think Jesse Cotton said if you want to draw one of a card, uh, then you want to run five. It's the best ratio for that. Um, obviously, if the math says you will have one on average, 
then you want high impact cards. So obviously Dark Ruler says you can play into any board. Um, stuff like Ash Blossom, not very good in this because if you play Drytron or something, then you know that one Ash will not stop Drytron. They will actually like, obliterate you through an Ash Blossom. They can sometimes obliterate you through a Gamma, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, you want high impact cards. I talked about that last time. So high impact cards are Droll, Lancia, Nibiru, although I wouldn't play Nibiru right now. Nibiru is kind of shit right now. Uh, Dark Ruler No More is high impact. All these cards. Uh, Gamma also works because it destroys the monster actually. Uh, Gamma also is also a good consideration because um, one of your choke points obviously is the Simoon. Obviously they have to have a Gamma because I think Gamma is the only thing that can negate a Simoon as a hand trap. But say, if, say you Simoon and they have a Gamma, then you Gamma back and you can special summon. Yeah, uh, it's pretty good from there. Obviously, that's the only uh, situation where Gamma would be good in your starting hand going first. But it's also a good going second card, so why not? So, that's the main deck. Um, going to the extra deck. We have, uh, as the Synchro, uh, we have the Full Armor Master. Uh, this is more of a going second card nowadays. Uh, don't do this turn one, like in death, unaffected, and then they just access code, run over it, and then you're sad. But going second, you can make this um, with only activate and Harmatan's effect, for example, and then they don't they wouldn't negate Harmatan. Then you can force negates or take control of a monster because this is just a big unaffected beat stick. It's pretty good. Um, next up, we have the Bardish, obviously for the combo. We have the Y Strix for the combo. I cut this down to one again because the reasoning for the second one was to play through Nibiru by having more extenders, but what it, you would have to have a lot of extenders in hand, and we run five tech cards in this list, so the odds of having that many extenders are not that high, so the second one won't come up. Uh, next up we have the Wincon, Kaliuga, uh, fair and balanced card. Uh, all of his brothers are on the bandist, like uh, Utopic Zexel, not, was it Utopic Zexel? Um, the Zexel card, uh, VFD is on the ban list, Azathoth is on the ban list, and this guy is still free because no deck abused him yet. Uh, Arsenal Falcon, obviously, for the rank up. Uh, this also Blazing Falcon for the rank up into the Arsenal Falcon. The Raiders Knight for the rank up in the Blazing Blaze Falcon. This is actually. This version of the combo actually takes up a lot of extra deck space because you run these three, but um, it's mostly this card that's kind of weird. Although going second, this card actually has an effect. Um, you can detach one Xyz material and destroy as many as possible, uh, especially some of the monsters from your opponent. And if you do, you deal 500 to your opponent for each monster. Also, the other one is. Um, as long as it has Xyz material, it can attack the opponent directly, and if it deals battle damage, you can destroy an opponent's monster. So actually, if you want, you can you can play Zeus in this. You just go Raiders Knight effect, go into this, attack directly, go to Zeus. Um, also destroy a monster. That's a consideration. I don't own Zeus because it's not the main focus of this. So um, next up, we have the Four Strikes. I still run this at two because for the non simoon combo uh, that plays th that plays through a hand trap by building an affinity first, you need two of those, and it's also decent. It's just a follow up. Like end of your combo, you still have two rank uh, level fours. For example, you just make this detach and you search Oster. You will have a banished Blackwing, and then you have a follow up play for next turn. And then we have. The Gyroga Magician, which also is important for this combo because you will have to resurrect your Arsenal Falcon to have it with zero material. So nothing changed here. Um, then next, let me just put these aside. We have the Exist Dragon package. So we have the Dark Rebellion Exis. We need those. We need that to rank up into the Requiem because this effect only works if this is the material. But 
And this is basically Appaloosa on steroids. You make this, it has three materials, and it's not once per chain, so you can just negate three cards uh, with this. It's pretty strong. So, for example, they ash you, you negate the gamma, you negate the gamma, and you just like very strong card. And then a new addition to the deck is the uh, Arc of Rebellion Xyz Dragon. Uh, you can make this with the same rank up from the Rebellion Xyz Dragon, or you can also, which is pretty cool, you just have two level fours. You go into Raiders Knight, Detach effect, go to Arc Rebellion, and Arc Rebellion is just going second. Detach a material, negate all monsters on the field, gain a giant boost of attack, and just run over your opponent and kill them. Um, so, yeah. You can see in the deck building, I cons was considering going second a lot more because going first, Kaliuga, especially with people running more traps nowadays, Kaliuga just uh, annihilates them. And then we have the one infinity for the non simun combos, the only non dark in the extra deck. And then, last but not least, the new card uh, shout outs to Silent Blackwing for um, the idea. If you don't know Silent Blackwing, check out the, this, his YouTube channel. He's like the most dedicated Blackwing player on YouTube. I got a lot of ideas from him. For example, the uh, Gagaga Magician, also from him. Um, very smart Blackwing player. So, what Jin Buster does is um, rank 2 Xyz needs 2 Dark Monsters, which is not a problem. And during either player's turn, when an effect of an opponent's monster is activated, you can detach two Xyz materials from this card, negate the activation if you do inflict 500 damage to your opponent. So it's an engage you can make on your turn with two level twos, which if you remember, I talked about Harmatan, playing two Harmatan, playing Cl uh, Caligo Clockrow and uh, Gust. These are all level two. So the way you do this combo um, is with Simum and level 4 and 2 extenders. Let's take 2 gates. So, um, what you do is you activate Simon effect, banish the gale, you get a whirlwind, this is like the full power black wing combo. You go Simon effect of black whirlwind to search Gust. Now you normal summon the Gust. Cool thing is, it has 900 attack and Harmatan has 800. So you can actually search the Harmatan. Then you go special summon, don't activate the effect. Now you have two level twos. Overlay. Go into a Gin Buster. And if you counted the summons, it's one, two, three, four. So four summons, have a negate. Uh, special the Gale, they want to Nibiru. You detach two, negate the Nibiru. Nibiru is hard once per turn, so can't do it again. Uh, the Nibiru won't go to the grave, but it's fine. You can link these two off into Y Strix, Y Strix effect. Now, if they ash you here, for example, like they had Nibiru and Ash, uh, they try to Nibiru, they will ash you here. Um, you can still say, like, Overlay these, not overlay these, link these two into um, Bardish and go from there. Obviously, it's safer if they already Nibiru before you link into White Strix. You actually want to uh, summon the Bora. Now that I think about it because if they ash you now, you can overlay these two for Bardish, get the um, Brigandine with Bardish, and you still have a rank 4 play here. But let's say they don't ash you. Get Y Strix effect. Get the uh, Zephyros. And now we go standard combo into Raiders Knight. Detach to rank up. Into Blaze. If you don't know this combo, check out the combo video that I made a couple months ago. It's still the same combo. Um, y Strix effect. You get the rank up spell, then you link these two off, go into Rusty, then you go Rusty effect. And now, uh, last time I said with Rusty you want to set 
the uh, the rank up spell for Kaliuga because if they DD Crow or a Skullmeister or whatever on the boots, then you don't have access to this, so you want to set it via Kaliuga effect. But if you actually like a lot more people play like Cosmic Cyclone Twin Twister, if you want to play around that instead, you instead set the rank of magic force and then use the boots and the grave to get this card you'll see later so now this is in your hand and now you can activate the rank up get blaze falcon blaze falcon will rank up into arsenal falcon arsenal falcon effect this is brave you special summon another Blackwing, Zephyros is best to summon, just to get it out of the deck. Um, and then you can activate the Zephyros in your grave, special summon it, by bouncing the Black Warrant, and you overlay these two into Dark Rebellion Xyz. And now you have two cards in hand, like Whirlwind and the Rank Up Magic, and one other card because we started with four cards, but it doesn't matter. So now what you can do is you can set both, and if your opponent, for example, has Cosmic Cyclone, they have to guess which one of these it is. They know which card this is, this is the other Rank Up spell. Um, if they have Twin Twister, they hit both, but maybe you have another spell trap, and then it's a, also a guessing game. Um, so... Yeah, say they cosmic this, this is the black whirlwind, that's the bluff. Say they actually hit this with a cosmic in the standby phase, so you can't Kaliuga. Um, now you still have, they summon something, you still have the rank up spell, you can chain this. After the summon, you banish. A uh, good banish is always the Harmaton, because this makes, a banished Harmaton makes your top decked Auster a one card full armor master, so try to banish this. Uh, you banish the Harmaton, you rank up your Rebellion Xyz Dragon into Requiem, and you want to summon it in a zone where Bardish points to. So now Bardish is a pop on, say, their normal summon. And now, even though through Cosmic Cyclone, you end up with a pop and um, three monster negates here. And you also played through one hand trap, so keep that in mind. So yeah, this would be the full combo uh, with Simone. You need a level 4, 2 extenders and Simone for that. Uh, you also have the draw power, obviously. Um, but that's not the only hand that can do this. Uh, an even more efficient hand would be... Let's just collect all these cards. If you start with one of the level 4s, uh, level 2s, um, let's put this aside first because it's not a Blackwing name. Uh, where's the Gust? Yep. So if you start with one of these and the Simoon, you can actually banish one of the level 4s. Normal summon Simoon, get the Black Whirlwind. And then Simoon will search for Oster instead. Because now you get one free body with all of it. Because you, you have the level 2 already banished, and you normal summon the Auster, chain link 1 Auster, chain link 2 Whirlwind, and the Whirlwind will now search. Where is it? Oh, the second Harmaton. That's why I play 2. Um, special this Harmaton. Now, this wasn't special through its own. Uh, effect so you can special this one from hand four summons overlay these two and now you have the negate again and so you have a level four and the simone here so you need one more extender so you can do this into y strix and do the combo again uh, clock row also similar if you already have it in hand you have like Simoon and any other Blackwing, you just banish the other Blackwing. Normal Simoon to get Auster. Let me just demonstrate it. You have 
Simone and uh, does this work? Um, yeah, this works. So you go Simone effect, banish, get the whirlwind, normal Simone. Simone gets you Oster, normal summon Oster, chaining one, chaining two. You search the Harmatan. Get the Gale, and then you can summon these two overlay into the gen. Now, obviously, if you do it like this, then this is five summons, and they can Nibiru you here. So this still gets you the negate, but it doesn't protect you from Nibiru. It will protect you from um, Ash Blossom, for example, because if you look at this, they could, the only thing they could have Ash Blossomed here would be the whirlwind which is fine because whirlwind just gets you another extender and you should have enough extenders already so if you do it like this they can't ash blossom your bardage anymore or imperm your y strix no, imperm still works but like effect valor your y strix and stuff like that the, the lower impact hand trap still you can play through it if you draw caligo flan pro but for the high impact if you draw this it's much better so that's it for the deck. Um, last thing, obviously, the extra deck. Uh, if you if you pay attention, it's only one synchro and two link monsters. It's very XZ heavy, um, which makes the follow up plays much worse because the follow up plays means you already have to have fitting monsters like level fours, two level fours. If you want to have a better follow up plan, uh, feel free to add more synchros. Um, the Raikiri is very good at breaking boards, for example, or play Hokjo with Raikiri, but then you need to have two extra slots free. So something to cut could be the Arc Rebellion or the Gagaga. If you cut the Gagaga, you can also cut the second for, uh, four Strix, uh, because you can't do the other combo anymore. But yeah, that's it for the deck. And thanks for watching. See you guys around.